Welcome back guys this is Sani and today I am going to start a new tutorial series in which I am going to teach you guys that how to use Firebase in Android application development. So before getting started let me go through the different topics that I am going to address during this tutorial series. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to tell you guys that how to connect your application with the Firebase Firestore. Then we will create collection and documents inside the Firestore database. Then we will create collection and documents into Firebase database. Then I will teach you guys that how to insert documents into Firebase. So the documents are nothing more than our records which we have created in the live database. Here we just create documents instead of record. But records and documents are quite similar things. Okay. So in the fourth video, I'm going to teach you guys that how to get documents from the Firestore into your rendered application. Then we will learn that how to update documents in the Firestore, how to delete fields of a particular document in the Firestore, then how to delete a complete document from the Firestore database with the Android application. And in the last video, I'm going to teach you guys that how to get live updates from the Firestore database in Android application. So let me uh, move back into Android Studio. Okay, so I'm going to create a new application. So our application is up and running but before connecting our application to Firebase so I'm going to take you through the steps that you need before you connecting your application to Firebase. So you need two things in order to get your application to connect to be connected with Firestore. First thing you must have a Google account in order to log in with the console Firebase. Okay. And after uh, getting that account, you must log in to the console.firebase.google.com. Okay. Now I'm going to open console.firebase.google.com. As you can see that my browser is logging in. As you can see over here that I have already logged into my account. If you open this site for the very first time, then you have to log in in this website by using the Google account. So I'm going back into my Android studio. Okay, here we are. First thing you need to do after you logged into your console.firebase.com, you just click on tools and then Firebase and assistant will be open over here. Then scroll down to this option which is firestore click on it and then read and write documents with cloud firestore then click on the very first option which is connect to firebase and after that a dialog will be open and it will start connecting your application with your firestore so here is the dialog that will connect our application to the firebase as you can see there are two options create new firebase project and choose an existing firebase or google project you can choose any of existing projects otherwise you can just create a new project you can create 12 projects on a free firebase account so if you want to create more account you have to pay for that okay as you can see that i have already been logged into this account so i don't need to log in again i'm just going to click on connect to firebase and it will start connecting to the firebase app as you can see that i have already created 12 projects so it is it is not letting me create new project into firebase so i'm going to option again and it will take me to the this dialog again from here i'm going to choose the second option which is choose an existing firebase or google project and from this i'm going to click on the bscs 6a project okay and then just click on connect to firebase okay so our application is connected to our firebase project you can see from here that it is showing that my application is connected to the project next thing is to add the dependencies inside our product that i need in order to run the firebase functionality in my application so i'm going to click on this option which is add cloud firestore to your app accept changes so dependencies are added into our project i'm going to minimize it going into our gradle then build gradle close the assistant that you opened previously as you can see that here is a warning that it is saying that we are using 17.1.2 version and 18.2.0 version is available so i'm going to change it to 18.2 18.2 point zero right now i'm not going to sync it sync the project because i need another dependency to add into our project i have already copied that dependency so i'm going to implement that dependency okay so this dependency is essential for the core functionality of the firebase to run on your application after adding this dependency just click on sync now okay so our application has been synced after that i'm just going to close it 
no as uh, we have connected our application with the firebase so i'm going back into my browser in which i'm going to teach you guys that how to create uh, collections then documents and and how to add values to those documents okay so i'm into my browser where console firebase.google.com here i have connected our application with bscs 6 day i'm going to click on it then just click on databases as you can see that i have already created the database if you will create this database for the very first time it will prompt you with the two options one would be the locked mode and the test mode you just have to click on the test mode from here and then get started here i'm going to create a collection so before i am going to create the collection just let me tell you one thing what does it mean by a collection collection is basically nothing but a table inside the firestore just like the table you create in any other database you create a collection inside the firebase okay so don't you worry about the what does it mean by collection and how the things work inside the collection collection is nothing more than a table inside your database in firestore okay then the next thing is to create documents first you create a table after you create the documents documents are nothing but record inside your table how do you represent records i suppose i'm going to add a value here it would be like roll number so i would say here i'm going to store roll number and at the same time i would be storing name and city etc so documents are nothing but records but inside our file store we don't create rows and columns we just create documents documents with the id if you want to create a complete row like here i am going to put the values roll number is one name would be like sunny and city would be like england okay so i will create this whole thing over here this whole record known as a document inside our collection collection which is a table so this whole uh, thing that i have circled is a document okay and each document inside every collection will have an id okay so let me remove this and going to add a collection with b i'm going to name it youtube youtube data okay next you have to click on next and here if you want to give the id to the documents it will uh, you can give the id otherwise it will automatically create an id for the document recommend practice is to use the primary key for this document okay so i'm going to say suppose is a name would name of the person whose data i'm going to store so i would say like sunny and first thing i'm going to store is the email which is of type string and i'm going to say e.yahoo.com again i'm going to add another field which would be like country country and i'm going to say england okay just click on save then your collection along with the document will be created as you can see this is just a simple record now the question is that how the things work inside firebase firebase is a schemaless database it does not mean that you have to follow some specific order what does it mean by a schemaless doc document basically schemaless document means that you don't have to follow a specific structure of the tables inside your database let's talk about the sqlite like you have created a table inside the firestore and you have given something here like id store like id then country and email you can't store some other value than id country and email but things in the firestore does not work like this you can store as many fields as you want you can store either like in the next document i'm going to add a new document by clicking on over here and i'm going to create an auto id here i'm going to say i'm just creating a name and name would be sunny junior okay and i just save it over here and you don't need to create the email or city you can store whatever you want to store so this is the main advantage of a database being schema -less database okay so till this point we have learned that what does it mean by a firestore database that how to connect and how to connect your application with the firebase and in from the android studio then we have learned that how to create a collection inside your firestore database then how to create a document and how to add fields inside your document if you want to delete a specific field from the documents or a specific document from a collection 
just click an option over here it will delete the field and if you want to delete the document just click over here and delete document and it will start deleting the document so after deleting that we have only one document available with the fields like country and email so guys that's it for the, this video in the next video i'm going to teach you guys that how to put values from your application inside your cloud firestore see you guys in the next video